Hey, Garen here. This video is about the Skitch. For us here at Santa Cruz, we've always been guilty of making the bikes we want to ride. And for us, the Skitch is about fitting more riding into your daily routine. And that's why we made it. For me, it's blasting into town for a burrito without stressing out about the climb home. Making errands fun again. It's that little bit of motivation I need to head out and explore the edges of my backyard without suffering my ass off like I do on my analog bikes. Although I still do that. And it's a good excuse to stay out of my car. More bike, less car. There's a lot of urban e-bike options out there. They're typically heavy, unrefined jobs built around huge batteries, lots of weight capacity, and moving cargo around. And we love those. But blend that with a high-end carbon fiber analog machine like the Stigmata, and you've got the Skitch. It's like drafting a Ferrari. Fast, light, subtle, quiet, and just so fun. The Skitch is our fourth e-bike, but our first without suspension. It's got a 430 watt hour battery that drives a Fazula Ride 60 motor. With the smaller battery integrated into the down tube and the Fazua motor's smaller size, it's just about as sly as e-bikes get. But here in the USA, the Skitch goes 28 miles per hour. And the 60 newton meters of torque from the Fazua motor gets it there pretty quickly, even uphill. And the Geo is designed around dealing with that extra bit of velocity. So it's half a degree slacker than its analog brother, the Stigmata, but it's got the same spacious cockpit designed around a shorter 70 millimeter stem. And it's got the same fork. I don't know, with this video, with this bike, do you feel like it's kind of bullshit that we've made this? Or do you think it's actually good that we've got it? No, I want this. I'm, I think, well, this should have been our first e-bike. We want this utilitarian 700C, super fast, zip around bike. That's the bike we wanted. So you actually feel but, like this bike's cool then? Yeah, I will be riding this um, for sure with flat bars. It goes, it's faster than shit. Riding up the hill, it's gonna be great. People always say that you of all people should get an e-bike because you live up on Empire Grade and like your commute home would be so much faster. And it's like, I don't necessarily want to make it faster, but I want to make it less of a hurdle. I want it to be like, ah, fuck it, I'll just ride down there, you know? Because if I'm lacking fitness or if I'm tired or whatever, sometimes I don't want to ride up the hill. There's yeah, 2,000 feet of climbing that I don't necessarily want to do. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And this is like, I think this might just be like, ah, just do it. Get down there. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Some days you ride your pedal bike, some days mm -hmm. you ride your e-bike. Yeah. But you always ride your bike. Yeah. Which is nice. Okay. We're going to go back to the making the video now, Daniel. Yep. Okay. Okay, there's a lot here that's new. This is a new category for Santa Cruz, the whole e-gravel Uber commuter thing. It's the first lightweight e-bike we've made. And not counting all the stigmatas through the years, it's our first foray into the whole mobility thing. And it's our first time with the Fazua system, which if you haven't used, it's pretty sweet. It's small, light, pretty powerful, and real quiet. Like many e-bike systems, it's got three modes. Breeze, which is conservative. It's got River, which is an odd name for the middle setting, but that's what it is. And it's got Rocket, which is pretty darn zippy. Also worth noting, the Fazua system's free of drag, and the bike's lightweight, which is around 30 pounds, makes pedaling the bike without assistance pretty doable. It's nothing like the big full power e-bikes where you're pretty much marooned when the battery runs out. And you don't have to be a bodybuilder to carry it upstairs or put it on the back of your car. And as far as the cockpit's concerned, e-bike stuff's pretty sparing. There's a battery meter integrated into the top tube. This flips up to give access to a USB-C port, perfect for keeping light charged or keeping that vape going. Switching between modes is done via the tidy little ring controller on the handlebar, and charging the bike is as easy as plugging it into the port on the down tube. There's also a lot that's not new, like the internal tried and true cable routing, dropper compatibility, the SRAM UDH, the fact that like other Santa Cruz's, there's no proprietary parts, making the sketch easy to work on no matter where it takes you. And in our experience, it take you pretty far. I got 60 miles on one battery, and it was an experience akin to riding the high performance bikes that I'm used to. I mean, I work here. I like nice shit. Okay, Skits is an e-gravel, commuter, all-road bike. It's got 700C wheels built around a rigid or 40 millimeter travel suspension fork. It's available in CC carbon only and matte olive green, small through double XL sizes. We've got multiple build options in flat and drop bars, and though we don't spec a suspension fork or dropper post, it's ready for those. Skits was designed, tested, and built to order in Santa Cruz, California. It's got a lifetime warranty on its frame. And That's one line that I should have without stuttering, you know, or like, fucking up. <laughs> I've said that a million times and I can't. Skitch was designed, tested and built to order in Santa Cruz, California, and it's got a lifetime warranty on its frame and reserved carbon rims. Looking for something like this but without the electric assist? 
That's the Stigmata. Looking for a full power E suspension bike? Check out the Heckler or Bullet. <laughs> Tempted to get a one wheel, but also worried about your image? We've got just the bike for you. Um, it's good on the road. It's good on the dirt. It's comfortable to ride. Holy shit, Daniel, we've made a hybrid. It's got an upright seated position, an adjustable stem, uh, and it's available in one size fits all.